Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa! That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Want to really feel it? Show me. See? It doesn't take much to pull a few G's. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. I'm fortunate to have you, Steve. Anytime, Shepard. Silver Coast Casino. I'm looking for a Lieutenant Williams. Thanks. There you are. Ready to see who's the real Spectre and who's the pretender? Whatever you say, Williams. Line him up. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Rules are simple. I take a shot, you take a shot. Hesitate, game over. This shouldn't take too long. Uh-huh. Glamorous and beautiful Superstar Spectre agent first. Sorry as pretender, next. I'll try and go easy on you so you don't break a nail, princess. You did not just say that. I sure did. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. I've seen how you deal with a few drinks, Williams. Very messy. Ancient history. You know, I expected better from you. I'm saving my best moves for later. Best moves? At least if you're drunk, you have an excuse for how you dance. Keep it coming, Lieutenant. I can do this all night. Uh, you may have to. This was a good idea. Yeah, it was. You ready for round two? Bring it on. Hey. My friend doesn't like Alliance types. Buddy, we're right in the middle of something. I don't like Alliance types either.
Brain check? Yeah. Hustlers at my table. Fair warning. Help that we had some brutal side objectives, but even then, we had to disable these reaper documents. You have received a new message. Sorry we're late. Somebody forgot to pick up the cerveza. Come on in. That somebody was you. Didn't say it was. So when's the game? It's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna be some intense by Audible. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. In the middle of a war with their troops watching, they'll give it their all. Absolutely. Have you guys seen Derek Rogers' game lately? Man, he and the Sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the Maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassana's play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. Hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, you telling me you don't got the hots for some of the Sorcerers? Okay, okay. Guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle Sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. I mean, they were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the Hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the Maestros have been playing since before First Contact. They'll win this. I know the Sorcerers have never beaten the Maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. 
So, Shep, who's it gonna be? You don't bet against the home team. Mr. Vega, I hope you're hungry for humble pie. When has our commander ever been wrong? Come on, man, the game started. Mierda, he was out! You're blind, ref! Yes! They did it! Now pay up. Hey, why didn't you let me in on the betting? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. And everyone knows you don't bet against Shepard. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. Ha! You couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose... how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis? I'm a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan? Right this way, Commander. So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. 
Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, ma'am. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. But you were in that hospital recovering from the Rachni encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. Before I sign you out, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah, when CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right, sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Grunt, you apologized to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. And I won't do it again. Good. Now, officer, I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. <laughs> I love you, Grunt. Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R&R. &R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Let's do it. Great. This is your game of skill? Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk at Shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. You're on. No pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. Hey, hey, you crowding me? Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. 
Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Ready? Let's do this. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Is that all you got? Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Is that all you got? Careful, Shep. Don't break a hip. Here's where my comeback starts. Congrats, Jacob. Ah, uh, you probably let me win. Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. What are you doing here? Uh, escaping. Ever since we cured the genophage, it's been nothing but work. Council been riding you? Bah! Not those Pajak shit slingers. No, it's the. It's the female shepherd. Now that they're fertile again. Oh, I haven't slept in. I don't know how long. Can I get you two anything? Two more drinks. And another bag of ice. I would have thought you'd be enjoying the perks of Krogan fertility. Enjoying it? There's a line of females outside my dwelling right now. It stretches on for as far as you can see. I had to sneak out my own bathroom window. Even then, I was cornered by two more females on the ride from Tuchonka. And it's just you. They're not spreading the love around? Sure, but everyone wants their firstborn in generations to be strong and fit. I'm the leader of Clan Erdnot. I brought an end to the genophage. Everyone on Tuchonka wants a piece of me. And Bakar is no help at all. She encourages it. I'm telling you, Shepard, I'm in no shape to fight Reapers. Considering everything we've been through, I can think of worse positions to be in. Trust me, I've been in every position in the past few days. Here are your drinks. And a bag of ice. Morden's procedure was painful. Oh well. <laughs> Shit, Shepard. We sure have been through it, haven't we? Still going through it. <laughs> True. Well, here's to us. And then going through it. I'll drink to that. Carball! It means victory or death, roughly. Ah, but you can't die, Rex. You got a family now. A really big family. Ah, more ice!
welcome to Silver Coast Casino. I came as quickly as I could. What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. When I saw you were on the Citadel, I wanted to see you again. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we gonna stand on formalities? These big picture windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars. But I can see where it might make one sentimental. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard. Very much. Hey, look what I found. An old issue of Justicar Heroes, May 2140. It says that you personally lifted 50 refugees across a raging floodplain on Nivos after smugglers blew up a dam. That news source has been known to exaggerate. So, you didn't almost drown while saving a child who'd been torn from her mother's grasp? The smugglers were not so lucky that I survived. Are there more stories like this? Perhaps. You might be amused by the June 2085 issue, Justicar Samara, Cold-Blooded Justice Runs Hot. It is not so difficult for me to find stories of your exploits. I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? It's humbling. But honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. What now? I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer, even if there is nothing to say. So what? A private cabin on a stealth warship isn't enough for you? I'm watching the place for a friend. What are you doing? Calling Izo. 
Izo? <laughs> yeah, he's from Thessia. Naturally biotic from all the element zero. The biotics make them short-tempered, so a lot of them get abused or abandoned. Can you imagine someone doing that? I found him at a rescue place. I'm trying to teach him that it's okay to trust people. He started out really angry, but I've been giving him lots of love, and now he's a big old softy. Oh. What? He seems like a good... pet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's my badass biotic? Mm -hmm. Who's my badass biotic? <laughs> Shepard here. Hi, Mom. Oh, honey. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. This is a surprise. It's been a long time. It has. I, I just felt I needed to... I think about you every day. I try not to worry. The other day, I was remembering the bedtime stories we used to make up. You had your own ship and crew. The stories were always filled with adventure and danger. Yeah. Huh. I haven't thought about that in a while. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, you'd always swoop in to punish the bad guys to save the day. So, there you are. Even when you were little, you dreamed of the life you have. Is that the reason you wanted me to call? No. I just want you to know that I am proud of you, honey. So proud. Welcome to Silver Coast Casino. Miranda. Cute outfit, Shepard. Perfect. Thought we might try an evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. I have to say I'm a bit surprised. I thought you might be. I can be... Uh, <laughs> severe. You're focused. Believe me, I understand. I was thinking about our talk earlier. About having a normal life. Damn. 
I'm not very good at this. The truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? I don't know. Um, maybe we can talk about regular stuff. No evil clones, no picking time bombs, just talk. Regular stuff? Okay. Like shoes or something? <laughs> sure. Uh, we're not really girly girls, are we? <laughs> no. We can't pretend to be anything other than troubleshooting space divas. You know, that does sound pretty cool. It does. All right, let's quit worrying and just enjoy ourselves. At least till we run out of credits. Right. Need more wine. Now you're talking. Waiter, Space Diva needs more wine. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret this. We're a couple of girls out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. <laughs> You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. We could go out, maybe catch a live performance. We don't absolutely have to use the... <sighs> You're very persuasive. At least I let you take your clothes off this time. You're so good to me. I try. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are dead. <laughs> 